Hey guys, and I'm back with another video. I know you all haven't seen me in a while, but you know I'm back, back, you know, like I never left. And I'm doing an unboxing, an unwrapping. So, can you all guess what y'all think this is? It's something small, so what y'all think it is? Some jewelry? Y'all think it's a watch, a ring, some socks? A toy what do y'all think it is you know leave a like and a comment down below and yeah let's go on get into the video Yeah, guys, it's, it's nothing but, like, a Roku remote. But, yeah, these things come in handy. Like, my last one is all broken up. But that thing lasted for some years, though. But the volume button came off of it. Like, you know, it been through hell and back. But, you know, these little flimsy little Roku remotes... The minute you like drop it on the ground, like, you know, the pieces be falling apart and things like that. But um, I had my Roku remote, the last one, for quite a while. And it was, you know, still, it was broken a little bit. I would just put a little tape on it and, you know, the volume button would still work. But then the pieces end up falling off of it. So it was just time to get another one, you know, of course. You know, I have the Roku TV, the smart TV. So I got to have the Ro Roku remote. But the thing about it is it's good that like with smart TVs, mainly like Roku, you can actually um, turn turn the TVs up with your cell phone. You can um, program, you know, your phone to the TV and the TV could, t um, your phone could turn the channels and your, t your phone can, you know be the volume button and turn it up or turn it down but i still just like to have my own remote not just using it off of a um off a cellular device off a cell, cell phone but if i have to then that's good that i can um you know i could change the channel with my my cell phone or i could turn the tv up and down with my cell phone but i like to have my own little small little roku remote of course i got netflix netflix and stars so you know it's good that i have the um roku remote so i could just hit netflix on the little netflix remote the roku remote so yeah these things come in handy like i'm gonna start buying at least like two roku remotes so i could just keep one just put up somewhere and you know i also need to um get like some velcro or something like that just to sit like on like the couch or like a chair and so you know just stick the velcro stick the remote to the velcro so it would just stick and it won't just keep moving around and dropping on the floor and things like that so it's good to have like some type of velcro or something on your chair or your couch and let the remote just stick to it you know, because other than that, it's just going to be falling on the floor, dropping. And they so small and, you know, so fragile. The minute you, you drop it too many times, you know, the buttons and the pieces going to fall off. So, you know, it's good to at least have like two of these Roku remotes. So I'm going to get another one as well. My other remote, it still work a little bit. But like I said, it's hard to um, press on a volume button because the piece kind of fell off. But, um... Is a tiny little volume button in the inside of it. You could press on that. You got to press hard for the um, the volume button to work up and down for it to, you know, go up or go down. But it still work a little bit. So I'm going to still keep the remote. I'm not going to throw it away. But I'm also going to invest in getting another um, Roku remote, though, as well. But, guys, you know, please like, share, and subscribe to this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what type of smart TV do you have. Do you have smart TVs? Do you have, like, Roku's, Kindle Fire? Um, what type of TV do you all have? You know, is it a smart TV or is it, you know, like a regular TV? Let me know in the comments down below. Please, guys, like, share, and subscribe to my video. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye, guys.